Just going for a drive in my 240. Connect negative terminal, ground the trans harness. Yeah, but basically what I have done is connected all the, all the grounds to the chassis. Battery is temporarily up front, but if you can see those grounds are grounded. This ground is grounded. We're grounded boys. ECU is grounded. That ground, the ECU, oh yeah, ECU is grounded. Uh, this other ground is grounded. So all I have really left is to extend my headlight wiring, which will not be bad. Just need to get some longer wires. Reinstall the interior and everything, and the wiring tuck is done. The fuse box tuck is complete. So that leaves us with a little bit of a list. I just took off, I don't know what I crumpled up, but yeah, I just took off ground, the negative terminal, and the fuse box harness, and I need to add to this list, but the car runs and drives. We successfully removed the fuse box from the engine bay, both of them, and now they are inside and they will be under the dash. So we've freed up a lot of room in here. There's still a lot to do, but the next piece of the puzzle will be to clean the interior up I want to say that that shit was hella not difficult but yeah that shit is fucking ugly but look at that where are my fuse boxes nobody knows the next day all right Got the space heater out, we're in the garage up. We got two boxes over here. We are going to put the car on the race ramps in the rear, uh, drop the mid pipe and the rear muffler section and replace it with some brand new ISR goodies. That way this entire car will be ISR from the headers to the cat, to the mid pipe, to the rear uh, muffler, but right now I gotta move everything out the way up front Roll it forward to give us some room in the back jack it up put it on these race ramps and Get to wrenching and she's a floater now. So I got the race ramps in the rear got one piece of wood up front if I get down here Turn the flash on so you guys can see so I got ISR headers coming to an ISR cat and then everything from the back is stock. So what we're gonna be taking off is these bolts and all the hangers that go to the back of the car and replacing that with brand new ISR shit. But it's cool because ISR gave us brand new gaskets and hardware. So everything will be nice and clean down here. I think I'll do a sound check right now, start the car up and uh, you guys could hear how it sounds. So this is the real main reason why I'm doing this is because that is the inside of my exhaust. And, uh, well, that's cool. It's got a part number. That's not supposed to be like that, but it is. It's totaled. So we're going to go ahead and make it not totaled. All right. To give an even better visual, that is the inside of the exhaust. Yeah, this has seen better days. It's probably, you could probably bend this back and put some boogers on it and then it works, but skip the boogers part. But I gotta drop the muffler now. It's just floating in there. And then uh, I wanna compare these stock pieces to uh, the new ISR shiny boys. Also, look how flat <laughs> that shit is. It pays to live the low life, man. You want to slam your car, this is what comes with it. Fuck. All right, this is the mid pipe to the muffler out of the car. Unfortunately, one of the exhaust hangers did not survive. It ripped. The two rear hangers are still intact. All right, so we got the uh, ISR mid pipe 
it's a little bit longer. It's making me think that it deletes the cat, but we'll see when I uh, bolt it back up in the car. I don't know if it deletes the cat because that's that's pretty longer because what I did down here was can line up where the hangers are just to kind of get an idea. I guess it is slid down a little bit, but we'll see. But with this kit, with both exhaust pieces comes with new gaskets, new hardware. So we will be refreshing everything. Uh, I will be reusing the bolt that kind of ties. See, I don't have a hanger right here. Oh, this is threaded right here. We're gonna have to go into there and see. We're gonna go ahead and put the back piece on so then we can just do the midsection by itself. But I want to get a side-by-side -side reference of uh, what they're looking like. Wow, that looks fucking gas pack. So I got the rear all mocked up. It's supposed to turn to the side and down. It goes from three inch pipe to four inch exit. I can't wait to hear how that sounds. Well, that looks fucking gas, dude. Hell of a time. All right, now we'll work on the midsection and figure out this weird, uh, this weird mount, but. All right, I got the exhaust loosely hanging up here. So the only thing with this kit is it's got this weird mount and the mount is where that hole is originally so what i've done made a little bracket out of some metal i'm gonna bolt that and bolt that just like that and that is our new exhaust hanger all right boys the whole exhaust system is mounted up in there so we're gonna go ahead and do let's give you guys the cold start That sounds good, dude. Fuck. All right, so in this video, we had finished up the wiring tuck. What I did too was uh, move this mount for the fuel filter and just raised it up so it's kind of out of the way. I uh, just ordered a battery tray, uh, one slash zero gauge wire to run to the front and a uh, remote battery terminal connector so I can tuck my trans harness up and uh, have my battery in the trunk. But sounds crazy. Sounds fucking tight. That was well worth the money. Now it's full ISR from the headers to the cat. ISR from the headers to the cat to the mid pipe to this new dump pipe, which uh, I highly recommend. But yeah, you just gotta get a little creative because the mounts aren't necessarily where they're supposed to be, so I just uh, did what I could, but that shit sounds good. I can't wait to drive it. But yeah, uh, battery relocation coming soon. I wanna utilize, I wanna utilize that little uh, mount right there to make some brackets and mount my battery back here, but yeah, we got the battery relocation coming soon. That'll probably be the next video and then I want to flock the dash just to uh, kind of clean up the interior a little bit, reinstall the dash. And then what I also have to do is make some seat brackets because I want to run this seat instead of the stock S13 seat. I might paint the bottom of the fucking floors white just so I don't have to while the entire inter interior is out. But that'll, that'll be for another day, the next day off. But... I uh, appreciate y'all watching. Hope, watching. Hopefully this inspires you guys to go get some ISR exhaust pipes. Uh, so I'm not sponsored. This is not paid promotion. I just, I had the headers. I bought the cat and I figured I would 
uh, run the mid pipe since yeah my shit got totaled over a speed bump so low low car problems but yeah like comment subscribe follow me on instagram at that okj and i'll see y'all in the future